Hey guys, today's look is what Beyonce's makeup artists call the boy beat. It's accentuating features that we usually would consider flaws like rosacea, acne, dark circles, while still making it work and adding a lot of structure. It's kind of a reversal of the Instagram perfect skin commercial kind of look. You see a lot of it in films and Vogue. So yeah, I figured I'd try something different for the New Year's. Let's go. To start off, I'm using the Ordinary Coverage Foundation. I'm only using this much, only very little, on areas where I need it. I'm applying it with my hands. You don't need a beauty blender. And this is going to be the only base product other than setting powder that we'll be using. If you can, try to leave the eye area alone because like I said, we're trying to accentuate dark circles. For blush, I'm using the Glossier Cloud Paint in Dusk. I'm tapping this on my cheeks and on my nose. And just blend it in with your fingers. It doesn't have to be perfect. Like I said, I'm trying to make it mimic rosacea or sunburn. I want the skin to look as matte as possible, so I'm setting it with the RCMA No Color Powder. The brows are like half of this look. You want them to look like your brows have never seen a pair of tweezers before. So I'm using the Mini Hardhead Hairspray. Spraying it on a spoolie and just combing my brows up to hold it in place. almost going against the direction of how your brow hair grows to make them really stand up. Now to fill them in, I'm using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz in Ebony. You want them to look really big and bushy, and I'm doing small feather-like strokes to make them look a lot bigger than they usually are. I got pretty small brows. One cool way to make your brows look extra bushy is to do very, very small and short strokes right underneath your arch kind of makes it look like you've never plucked your brows <laughs> and if you can try to fill in your arch they really don't have to look too even next i'm using the glossy boy brow and just brushing them up one more time try to focus on any brow hairs that stick out from your usual brow shape Maybe the tiny baby brow hairs in the beginning of your brows. And if you have any brow hairs around here that you haven't plucked yet, put this on anyway. Back to the face. I want it to be a very chiseled look. So I'm going to contour just very lightly with the Pony Effect Contour Palette in Marvelous. I'm going to start off with my nose. With the same brush, I'm drawing a line from here to this area i'm keeping it very soft it's barely noticeable but this line is going to help with the eye makeup later it's kind of the foundation for an exaggerated dark circle eye bag look next i'm using the same shade to contour the rest of my face for this look i'm staying away from warm colors whether it's the contour shade or eyeshadow for eyes, I'm using the Visa Art Neutral Matte Palette. I'm going to use this shade. It looks really bright on the palette, but it's actually the color of my skin when I have dark circles or bruises. So I'm putting it right in the inner corners of my eyes. I'm ring this color all the way on my lower lash line, but really just focusing on the inner corners. I'm bringing it right here around my crease just basically where your dark circles usually are. Next, I'm picking up this shade. And I'm putting the shade right on the eyes. So it looks kind of like discoloration on the eyelids. Next, I'm using this Kiko Dark Tide Eyeliner and just tight lining my upper lash line. As the last step, I'm drawing on some freckles. So I'm using the brow pencil that I used earlier with this Pony Effect. Brow Definer in Natural Brown. I'm using two colors so it looks a bit more natural. Maybe add a couple of moles. If you want to add an inner corner highlight, find a matte yellowish white eyeshadow or in this case, a matte yellowish highlight color and just put it right in the inner corners. It's subtle, but there's often kind of a yellow discoloration on the inner corners when you have a lot of dark circles. In the end, if you think you put on too much foundation or too much of a base makeup, you can always use makeup wipes to reveal more skin. I'm leaving the lips completely bare. I'm not even putting on chapstick. If they're chapped, just leave them that way. And yeah, that's it. Now I'm ready to steal your girl. 
I hope you like watching this tutorial. It was kind of experimental for me. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.